Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is gonna be a general read for Geminis and it is for September the 15th, which is today, um, up until the 22nd. So I'm gonna ask what you guys need to know before September the 22nd. And keep in mind too, it's very, very extremely general. It may not resonate right now, but you can always check back if you would like to. Um, so yeah, let's see what comes out. And this is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus as well. What does Gemini need to know before September the 22nd? What does Gemini need to know for September the 22nd? So first card out. So we have the Page of Cups that came out. I feel like either you, Gemini, or somebody in your energy, they could be... Um, I feel like there's something that someone has been like holding on to with this the Four of Pentacles. It's like someone's about to express that with this page of cups that's coming out. Let's see. Tell me more for Gemini. What do they need to know before September the 22nd? What does Gemini need to know before September the 22nd? So some of you guys could be getting some type of communication or um, someone's going to be expressing how they feel. Yeah, page of wands is going to be some type of message with this page of wands. This is fresh new energy as well. So yeah, and look, nine of pentacles showing up too. So it looks like you're about to get some type of insight or information in regards to a certain situation. Tell me more for Gemini. What else do they need to know before September the 22nd? What else does Gemini need to know before September the 22nd? So page of swords and knight of wands. So yeah, it's like three pages back to back. <laughs> and y'all read with this page of swords. It's like you could be showing up here as a page of swords. I see where you're going to be. Um, It's like you're going to be reading some type of message. And we're about to see like what, what else comes out. With this knight of wands. Yeah. Um, For some of you guys, you're about to read some type of message. It could be in regards to a situation where... Possibly it's like you're going to take action or it's like um, someone could be like leaving with the, the Knight of Wands. Tell me more. Tell me more for um, Gemini. What else do they need to know? Yeah, Six of Swords. For some of you guys, um, whatever this energy is that's coming out, I'm going to clarify it. But I see like movement. So I'm not really sure if you're moving away from this situation or uh, someone else is going to be moving away. Because this is something that either you or somebody else in your energy, they've been holding on to this. And I do see new energy that's coming out too. So it's almost like, um, I feel like you could be looking, hold on, let me just um, clarify these. Let me see. Tell me about this page of cups for Gemini. Tell me about this page of wands for Gemini. Tell me about this page of wands for Gemini, please. Yeah, someone's going to be speaking their truth in regards to a certain situation. This could be you too. We got the four of wands that came out. And then we do have the... Um, justice energy showing up here for some of y'all you could definitely be moving away from some type of conflict or with that six of swords because it's like once you find once you um see something or read some type of information it's going to allow you to like move on that's what it looks like tell me about this page of swords for gemini yeah you found out some type of truth. You got some type of truth or clarity um, here about a certain situation. Eight of Wands. So, yeah, it's some type of message. I see someone, like, reading a message. It could be, like, a text message, an email, or a DM. I don't know. Facebook Messenger. That's what it looks like. Tell me more about the Six of Swords for Gemini. Tell me about the Six of Swords. We got six of wands. We got the tower card. So there's some unexpected changes that's going to be occurring here um, in regards to a certain situation for you, Gemini. But it's like you're going to find out through communication. What is this energy about for Gemini? What are they looking at? 
what is this about for Gemini? What are they looking at? Oh, Black Newman, Three of Wands. So you could be looking at somebody from a distance or somebody um, is looking at you at a distance too. But this Black Newman card, it's like some hidden information is going to be revealed to you. Yeah, and it does show where there could be mental conflict as well about moving forward or like um, moving on from a situation. There could have been some type of conflict. It could be um, lack of communication as well. Tell me more about this um, energy for Gemini. What is this about for Gemini? Tell me more about this energy for Gemini. What is this about? So yeah, it's um, conflict. So yeah, five of wands. You could be in a situation now where um, it's almost like this could be somebody that you live with, with this four of wands too. But I feel like someone's going to be expressing how they feel. It's like some type of truth co finally coming out that someone has been holding on to. I'm going to ask why I've seen that, um, the four of pentacles. But yeah, with this five of wands, it could have been some type of conflict or like drama. Why did I see the four of pentacles? Why did the four of pentacles show up at the bottom of the deck when the page of cups came out? Why did the four of pentacles come out at the bottom of the deck when the page of cups came out? Knight of pentacles, we got the emperor showing up here too. So with this knight of pentacles, it could be um, either you going towards somebody with an offer or um, somebody else coming towards you. Let me see. Tell me about this five of wands for Gemini. Tell me about this five of wands for Gemini. Two of swords, knight of wands. There was some type of um, conflict or this could be like internal conflict. But I feel like for some of y'all, it's like maybe um, either you or another person could have been like very indecisive about leaving a situation. But it's like, of course, communication needs to happen. I mean, um, someone could have gotten ghosted here with this knight of wands. But I feel like someone's leaving a situation. But it's like at one point, it could have been like a at a stalemate, like very indecisive about which direction to choose. But it looks like it's new energy. It's like you're moving away from some type of conflict. So it's like maybe you were um, in a situation here with someone where it was like a lot of problems here with the Black Newman card coming out. It's kind of like the Moon card. So yeah, it looks like you're choosing a new direction. And Spirit is saying the new direction is some form of like a victory for you as well with the Six of Swords. I mean, the Six of Wands that's coming out too. Tell me more about this Five of Wands. Uh-oh. Yeah, so we got the Emperor. There could have been some type of control issues too with this energy. Um, I see where this could be like the father, like a father figure. Could be like an older male too, but... It's a masculine energy that's coming out here um, in this situation. Maybe something was going on with finances too. But I feel like there um I feel like the reason why there was conflict or like drama chaos is because somebody had control issues with this emperor card. It's like maybe somebody been holding on to you or something, because like he got a really firm grip on his sword and it's like bleeding out. That's what it looked like. Yeah, it's blood, yeah. Tell me more about this energy here for, um, yeah, Ace of Pentacles. It's like Spirit is guiding you to start new with this Ace of Pentacles. And we got the Death card. So, yeah, I see where there's some type of ending. Um, You're going to receive the, a message in regards to some type of ending here. Let me see. Tell me about this Page of Wands for Gemini. Tell me more, more about this Page of Wands for Gemini. Yeah, nine of wands that we got judgment. So yeah, for some of you guys, a lot of this is my second time saying judgment. So yeah, for some of you guys, you you're about to receive some type of message communication that's going to bring in clarity for you to where you could finally like release the past. It's like maybe you got somebody in your energy, or maybe you've been holding on to somebody um, that you've known for a while. But it's like time to let it go. It's like focused on forgiveness as well, and it's like now it's time to head into a new direction. So that's what it looks like. If this is like some type of relationship or a partnership, like Spirit is saying that you guys are um, needing to separate because it's too much going. It's almost like maybe you both are trying to control each other. 
it's like a clash of egos. So I see like the death of um the death of an ego or you know a certain situation where so maybe somebody was like too controlling. And somebody could have been trying to control you too. Tell me more about this energy here for Gemini. Tell me more about this energy here for Gemini. Yeah, with the chariot and king of swords. So it looks like here with the chariot, I feel like any type of, um, it's like you're overcoming or getting past, moving past any type of like conflict. Here, you could be needing to get back in control of like your emotions too with the chariot showing up. Or just like really, um, I feel, yeah, I feel like maybe there's like control issues with the Emperor card and the Chariot, yeah. Tell me about Black Newman here for Gemini. Tell me about Black Newman here for Gemini. So we got the Queen of Cups. Spirit is saying that you already know with this Black Newman card and the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is a, a very intuitive woman. So it's like whatever was hidden, it's like maybe you already know or maybe whatever type of issues um, that was going on here, some type of hidden information. It's like you kind of already know. Tell me about this Black Newman card for Gemini. Tell me about uh, Black Newman for Gemini. Oh, the card. Yeah, so judgment showing up again. So this is the third time we done seen judgment. Look, eight of cups. So yeah, it's time to walk away. It's time to move on from this energy. It's like too much going on. So why the judgment keeps showing up? <laughs> Look, the uh, Wheel of Fortune card. So it's time for some change. What is the Wheel of Fortune card? It's like if you're tired of the drama, the chaos, the conflict, or being controlled in a certain situation, um, or any type of like issues, then yeah. Why judgment keeps showing up here? Clarify judgment. Yeah, Ace of Wands. We got the Five of Pentacles that's showing up here too. So with this judgment card and the Ace of Wands, yeah, I feel like there's a new start with this Ace of Wands. And you could actually be, I feel like maybe you're going to see somebody have a new start too. But yeah, with this Five of Pentacles coming out at the bottom of the deck, uh, for some guys, it's like you could be worried about some type of new start too. Tell me about this um, judgment here. Or something could be going on financially as well. It's like maybe you're worried about finances. Yeah, Empress. Tell me more about judgment. Tell me more about judgment. Yeah, um, the King of Swords. So this is your energy. And you could be also too dealing with another... Um, air sign but it is like a masculine energy coming out with judgment coming out and i just seen the seven of cups so yeah for some of you guys you could be making a choice um in regards to yeah um having a new start but listen to your intuition because you're like we got the queen of cups that came out um listen to your intuitive insights here in regards to a certain situation that you could need to walk away from or like finally move on from i feel like at one point it has been like a at a stalemate for somebody, but it's like now that clarity is coming in to where you're going to really know that, hey, it's time to go into a new direction. It's time for some change. So, yeah, I'm going to end it here. And so I guess the whole message is before the 22nd, y'all could be getting some type of insight and clarity in regards to a new start. Um, if you are wanting to move away from some type of conflict, drama, chaos, whatever the case is. So, yeah.